It is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. down the list of names it does look Jim as though it's going to be a 5-3-2 conservatism would appear to be at play Peter however we don't quite know what their motives are just yet it could well be as it looks but it might also be a way of deceiving the opposition into thinking that they're just going to sit back and then hope to produce an aggressive counter-attack or two this system can accommodate that and I certainly hope we're going to get something positive in response and it's not going to be all defence. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Marco Verratti. He's got great vision and passing ability and seems to be able to dictate the play in midfield. He also tends to develop a really good understanding with the forwards and just kind of senses the runs that they'll make. And I'm intrigued to see how he performs today. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Shoots! Oh, denied brilliantly! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. And that has been cleared. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. Tries to get it forward quickly. Jorginho. Berardi. A really good feat. Jorginho. Marco Verratti. Crossed in, and he's there to clear it. No change to the score, nil-nil it remains. He goes long, and the defence can get it clear. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And it's Jorginho. Elmas. Gets into a dangerous position. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Jorginho. Hoists it forward. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Elmas. Oh, good interception. That 
That's great strength on the ball. And it's Ferrati out to the right. Time to deliver. Diving header! Oh, great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's played forward. Spinazzola. Chiesa. Oh, that's nice. Pumps it in. Great leap! Well, to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Forward it goes, and it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Jorginho. And here's Immobile, it's Immobile! Well, that's where he wants it. Cuts it out. Ferrari. Jorginho. He's there to receive it. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's half-time here. So now the team has broken through. Certainly not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now, but still goals. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, nil-nil. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. And it's Berardi. That's a throw. And it's hoisted clear. Has he found his man? as far as they're going to go. Spinazzola. Spinazzola drives it forward. Goal is still. On the side, really getting onto the front foot. More than happy to take the muscular approach. It's a loose ball. He's left his man, tries a shot! And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class rage. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Ferretti. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Elmas, Elmas with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick.
Chiesa. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Italy are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. And it's Jorginho. Hoists it forward. Dashing forward at pace. Elmas. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Spinazzola, and it's played forward. Chiesa. Jorginho. Marco Verratti. And here's Immobile! Well, oh, that is rather wayward. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Jorginho. Moments here from securing what would be a really commendable draw. Marco Verratti. Jorginho. Out towards the flank. It's come loose. Spinazzola. Italy go in search of their winner. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And that has been cleared. Italy cannot afford for this. It's Immobile! Fantastic from Immobile! Save the best for last! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Italy take what looks to be a decisive lead. And that's that. Always in the balance. And in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than I expected it to be. 